In today's video, we show you more modifications for this intimidating thing, at least intimidating to me, the Barbell Squad, right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and yes, it is leg day, but it's also a deload week. Not D-Lo Brown, great guy, great friend, but a deload week, meaning that in between three-week phases of lifting heavy and trying to get my strength increased, there's a deload week. It's a light workout week using the four basic compound lifts, military press, bench press, deadlift, and of course here we have squats. Now, if you've seen the past video of me avoiding any kind of pressure or or any kind of weight on my neck using a kettlebell, then you'll know that I try to avoid and modify the squat. It still gives me trouble to this day. But on the light weeks, aka the D-load weeks, hello again, once again, d uh, I can do this. It's still not comfortable. It still causes me some kind of discomfort, but I try to work through it. So we're gonna show you how I modify this. And yes, we're not gonna go much heavier than the bar because my squat is not very great. And this is one of the few channels as far as fitness where we don't really show off. We show you the vulnerabilities, the things I get wrong. I'm telling you right now, my form's not going to be great on the squat. I'm going to do my best. You do the same. And that's all that really matters. But what we're going to use first for this is a box or a bench squat. And we're going to go through the warm up with the, it's essentially a Wendler deload week or a strong five by five, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go through that, but also we're going to show you a modification using the power block dumbbells or any dumbbells that you have along with the bench. So let's get started because this is like take four and I was warmed up and now I might not be warmed up. So let's warm up again and let's start doing this. So here we are again, ready to do our first warm up set. And by the way, we're using the folding my rack. And at the end of this, of course, I'll show off folding it back up very quickly. This is uh, becoming my favorite uh, piece of strength equipment. Really great for space saving, just awesome stuff. So. Uh, we could use a mono lift, by the way, if we were going a little bit heavier, even if we weren't. But I have the uh, the J hooks, which were compatible with the original my rack, and also compatible with this folding one. So let's go underneath here, and let's go very easy. Now I'm backing up to the bench. Now what we're using here is a flat bench. This is a light commercial bench, once again from Force USA. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the bench squat or box squat, we could use a plyo box or other things. Uh, really helps me with this because I can squat down. I know I'm resetting a little bit, squat up. Two, three, got to get the breathing down, even though I'm doing light. Four, and step back. That's where the mono lift can come into uh, benefit because I don't have to worry about that. I can just drop it there, especially with weight. So let's add five kilograms on each side, and we're not gonna go much heavier than that with this. Um, I like showing this kind of stuff because when you're working around constant injuries and you need better form and stuff, which I really do need to go back to some foundations with this, that's kind of why I'm doing this phase. And also, I'm doing these kinds of lifts to research and test out for uh, a program that I want to bring out to uh, Steve Rich Fitness. I want to do some uh, cool stuff with that. So these four basic compound movements, uh, I'm going to add a power band and try to do a power band program and put it up there because a lot of people want to gain some strength and stuff and go from the handled resistance bands to the power bands, which are really <laughs> even tougher than this barbell squat to be able to use the power bands, at least in my opinion. So let's go here. Five reps again. Come up here. Just gotta get my form down. Now there's one squat that I see a lot of people doing, a zercher squat, where you can put the barbell in your arm, in your bicep area, right here in, in the fold of your bicep and forearm with the elbow, inside of the elbow. Uh, my arm injury scares me a little bit because it's still there, it's still tw kind of twinges a little bit here and there, but that's also an excellent thing and I've seen my buddy Phil Giroux, great coach, you should check out his programs. 
Uh, another thing we do here is we <laughs> promote people, uh, Phil Daru, Jeff Cavalier, Spitz Fitness, Garage Gym Life Media, Garage Gym Experiment, Garage Gym Labs. All the garage gyms are covered by other people. This is the home gym stuff, but <laughs> it's uh, it's funny. You know, it's, they, there's plenty of space for everybody, and I'm really inspired by everybody who um, does their thing. So let me open up. I'm opening up this app here that I used. I want to make sure that I'm good. So we have, you know, we're in the middle of a two-minute rest, but basically this is this is where we're going to stick. We, we could have went a little bit lighter with 49 pounds, for the first set, but that's even a little bit light for me, believe it or not. But what we're gonna do is we are going to show you, we're gonna do a couple more sets of this, do some more barbell squats, and then we're gonna come back and show you the dumbbell version that I use here, which I haven't done in a little while, so I'm gonna stay very light with that. But if you have a pair of dumbbells, even a kettlebell, we'll show you that with the bench in a box squat, bench squat form, so you don't have to see all these sets. So I'll give you one more set really quick, see how I do with this. See if my hips are opening up, even after doing all the mobility work <laughs> that I need to do, which is really, really important, by the way, to do that. Here we go. All right. By the way, I know it's not perfect. Anybody wants to reach out to me, stevierichardsfitness at gmail.com. Help me correct this stuff. I'm always open to getting better. My heart rate's up even from a light squat. I don't have any ego when it comes to this from lifting or from thinking I know everything about fitness. This is basically showing you, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm not there. My deadlift has been incredible for the past couple of weeks, but this squat, especially at the barbell on my, on my neck, scares the hell out of me. So... That's why I'm making videos like this, because if you're scared too, like I'm scared, there's ways to work around it. So we'll be right back after we finish doing these sets, and we'll show you the bench, aka slash box squat, using the dumbbells, and even the kettlebell. An SSD drive internally that comes built in the machine directly from Apple. So if you're a pro user, work. Yeah, I watch uh, tech reviews during my rest periods. Also, 80s love songs, but we can't play those. We get demonetized. Now, I'm a bit more warmed up now. So what I do, uh, and I don't think I did it even on the warm-up of the first couple sets, um, is I stay down on the bench and I do like a pause here and I come up and squeeze. So I'm going to give that a shot. It's a little bit different. It might look a little bit different. It might look the same too. So we moved the pad over. It wasn't quite center. Let's get here. Get our feet right. Because what I can do, at least in my opinion, I come down, that feels good, but if it didn't, reset my breath, no momentum. starting to feel that a little bit but then I see people that kind of come down and they kind of like when they sit down on it they're kind of going like this and then coming up with a little bit of a little bit of an angle like that so feels good it's just man my squats on my heart rate too <laughs> lower body exercises always do it but um that's just a I'm just doing it I'm just giving my best shot with this so it's a modification and I'm just doing my best to have them much form. My legs are burning, so it's probably good. No back pain, no neck pain. Knock on whatever, and uh, we're gonna keep going. So here is the dumbbell version of that bench, AKA box squat, and I'm going a little bit light on this, actually very light. It's a deload week. Once again, hi to deload, but it's a deload week. Uh, and you might not see me uh, or at least all of me in this, but the more important part is to see the bench and also see where the dumbbells are. Uh, now this is gonna have a completely different feel, so, but the same thing, you could pause at the bottom. See, I kind of come down and, and kind of plop down 
but that's better. Whew, that feels good, actually. I'm gonna keep my head up just like I do as if I had the barbell on my neck. I should breathe. I didn't even get a practice run of this. I'm just doing it. I wanna go pause. Legs are feeling it. Now I'm not trying to come forward. I'm just trying to, oh, crack my back. Just try to be right here. One more. And I'll just sit down with it. So I'm gonna do a couple more sets of that. My heart rate actually went up more on that too. These modifications, and we got one more thing. I'm actually gonna grab the kettlebell and we're gonna do that. Much like this, it's gonna be like a goblet squat or grab them by the handles. Uh, and it's gonna feel like it's pulling you forward. So these here with the dumbbells might be better for you because you can always just shoulders back, chest out and place the dumbbells where you want. With a kettlebell, it's in front of you. So you gotta kinda fight the force of it trying to pull you forward. So we're gonna go with a fairly light kettlebell here. And it's your choice. If you wanna do handles, you wanna do handles or you wanna do the goblet version. What I'm gonna do is the handles. I'm gonna start from this position, have it right here, try to get my elbows in still. Whoops, gotta breathe. Doesn't feel bad. I didn't even rest. So that's a, I would normally take a one to two minute rest and my heart rate's way up on that. So let's see if I'm in the camera, am I? <laughs> yeah, I should be, okay. Not that that needs to be necessary, but for the clothes, maybe so. Uh, these are modifications, modifications to that barbell squat and also being able to barbell squat uh, on a deload week and trying to get over my fear and just the discomfort and everything. Maybe I'll never get, it's been years and years and years and it, it always caused me a great deal of pain. There are products out there like the Squat Max uh, MD that's awesome. That actually like a belt squat, but much better than a belt squat. So you might see me review that in the future which will take all this kind of stuff out of it, and maybe my legs will finally grow. Who knows? But my favorite part, let's pick these up. There's an updated review on the, I can't get too excited, I'll have bad form. Oh, let's take this down, and then we'll fold that everything up. That's my favorite part. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. My favorite part of the whole deal. And right here, and also quickly remove the J clips or J hooks. I get so excited to do this. That is pretty awesome. I, I love that. And I can't wait to give you an updated review of the Force USA Folding My Rack. As of this time, still sold out. Uh, they have a waiting list. You can sign up to get notified when it is back in stock. If it is in stock when you're watching this video, or even if it is, and bookmark the code Stevie5. Save on the folding my rack, save on anything at forceusa.com on the strength side, flat the light commercial uh, flat bench that I was using for the bench squats, all that stuff, barbells, bumper plates, all that stuff. You'll save a little bit, and using that code will help fund so we can bring cool reviews. I hope they're cool, uh, <laughs> informative. I hope they're informative. But all these reviews and all this content, that code helps us a great deal to actually promote the brand and do all this stuff. So we appreciate everybody who has used the code once, twice, however many times, or will use the code in the future. Thank you so much. If you want cardio, you can also go to dimebackfitness.com. Same code, Stevie5. ForceUSA.com also has the uh, Assault Runner and the Assault Bike. You can use the code for that as well. Please leave a comment below. Email me, stevierichardsfitness at gmail.com if you have any questions, especially about the resistance band training programs at stevierichardsfitness.com. Thank you guys. God bless you. Have a great day.